Yo, 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 yo. What's up? What's happening? What's going on? It's your boy, Chain Wayne. Welcome to the blog. Y'all already know what to do. Like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell so you can be notified when I drop these videos. All right, man. Let's talk about this. Because I know I'm a, I'm, I'm a day late. You know what I'm saying? Yesterday was Easter. I had some stuff going on. But I want to talk about this clip. These little mini video clips. They got a lot of people talking about it. Some people upset. People, they putting their two cents on it. But let's get into it. So we all know who Wack 100 is. We all know who DJ Academic is, and we all know who Snitch Nine is. They got you six nine. You know they didn't had the they didn't did the podcast interview, rough some feathers up, went viral, had people talking about it, rappers, celebrities, whatever you want to call it. But now they got a special guest. They can ready to bring it back again. None other than one of the well known bloggers, you could say, from New York, Hassan Campbell. Now, if y'all know about Hassan Campbell, he basically told his story about, I'm not even going to say the word, but we're just going to say African band body. If you don't know, go look it up. I'm not even going to sit there and go into full blast detail because that's not what I'm here for. But they getting ready to do a, a podcast, interview, discussion, sit down, whatever you want to call it. It's nothing but trolls working together. You get what I'm saying? I'm not surprised. People, they mad, they upset. Some people saying Hassan, a sellout, whatever they... Bro, he been already been saying this in blogs that he has talked about 6 9 I want to sit down and do an interview. I want to do this, break him down, whoop de whoop de whoop whatever you want to call it. So this is not surprising to me. You get what I'm saying? It just happened sooner than what I thought. But, hey, at the end of the day, it's all about a bag. Like, you get what I'm saying? Now, y'all can say the man sold out, whatever. I'm not really a fan of Hassan Campbell, nor do I really care. But like I say, his, his body of work, when he talks about 6 9 was always negative, for one. You know, he talked about the whole snitching thing, for two. And how he said he wanted to do an interview and break him down. But if you want to bring it into the street aspect, it, it's no street aspect in the game. Y'all just bring it to the game. You know what I'm saying? Whack 100 is a well-known blood sitting down with this man. Y'all feathers was ripped up about that. So what makes it a difference with Hassan Campbell? Well-known dude for what Bronx River claim he got all these bodies. Man, I don't care about that, man. Y'all doing it for the bag. Y'all doing it for the clout. Y'all don't really care about no 6 9 6 9 Y'all know that that man is a household name. He's a troll, and he still got fans. So why not work with him? It's been so many rumors and legends that Wack 100 is his manager now. Said that they made $40, $40 million together. I don't know if it's true. I'm not no pocket watcher, nor do I care. I just had to just drop this video because it's just like, I'm not surprised. Like, I was laughing when I saw the video clips. Not off of being disgusted because I seen it coming. I already knew. He just did a video about 6 9 like, not too long ago. Then he did one, I think, before that. Like, I can't keep up with the man catalog. But he did one saying that he wanted to do an interview. Now, all of a sudden, you sitting down. Look how everybody, they, they so happy drinking because they know they about to get paid that video is going to go viral yes it's going to be an epic video and we all going to tune in whether you like like whether you like these guys or you don't like them that's just how the game go they're going to do numbers they're going to do views and yep i'm gonna sit back and watch the whole thing and do a blog on it but i can already know how it's going to go i'm just not going to just sit there and try to put my prediction up but you got too many fake hotheads at the table whack 100 Doing his hot head thing on, on Clubhouse. You got Takashi Six Nine doing his hot head thing, trolling what he been doing, and Hassan Campbell, just Hassan. Like you just gotta just watch his blog to see what I'm talking about. One big contradiction. So you got all these hot heads sitting at the table, and then you got DJ Academics. That's a referee. That's Mr. Nice Guy. It's gonna be a whole bunch of words being exchanged and. Slick talking and all that, like, and DJ Academics probably not even gonna be able to control these guys. But, um, I ain't gonna go into a rant about it. Y'all let me know what y'all think, and I'm out.